Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, your girl here, Tanisha at blackwealth101.net. So we are in some exciting times. And the exciting times that we're in is that more black women are starting businesses, investing in real estate, and investing in stocks, and becoming homeowners. Now, why is this happening? Black women are realizing that if I don't do it, nobody's gonna do it. If I don't push forward, and pull through no one's gonna do it right there's so many articles on women black women entrepreneurs now black women are the most disrespected <laughs> the most degraded right the let the, the one that's least valued the one that's most stressed the one that's most depressed the one that has most of the weight of the world on our backs the one that's most loving and caring but we don't get enough recognition, right? We don't get enough feedback, good feedback, right? We don't have enough men to choose from, right? Because most of the men are in jail, our black men, and then the young boys are in foster care, right? So we don't have enough men to choose from. So if you're a decent woman and you're looking for a decent man, it may be hard, right? Because if you're a bum woman, you could find a whole bunch of bums, right? And it's not a whole lot of good men to go around, the truth be told. <laughs> but here's what the real core of this is. Women are tired of struggling. Women are tired, well, black women. Wait, texting my video girl. Women are tired of struggling. Women are tired of being the last. Women are tired of being, you know, at the bottom of the potent tone. Women are tired of being said no, you know, being no said no to. Women are tired of being beaten. Women are tired of being stressed. Women are tired of being aggravated. Women are tired of being constipated. Women are tired of not sleeping. Women are tired of being single. So with black women, are doing is saying, you know what? This fucking bullshit American system doesn't work for me. The American system is not for the black woman. It only keeps us down. It keeps us in bondage. They take our men away and then they say, oh, we're gonna pay you, we're gonna pay your rent, which is section eight. Oh, we're gonna, you know, take care of your, your, your kids' medical, which is Medicaid. Oh, we're gonna we gonna feed you, which is food stamps. Oh, we're gonna give you a little cash because we know you wanna get your little nails done. We're gonna give you a hundred dollars a month. All right? So women are getting tired of that. They're tired of living with limits. They're tired of living with limits. So more and more. And more and more black women are becoming entrepreneurs. And I am proud to say that I am happy that I'm in a position to help more black women become entrepreneurs. Just this weekend, my team of black women, we helped 28, no 30 actually, 30 new women get on board with our health and wellness business. My team, called the Freedom Tribe of women, black women, helped 30 more black women get on board. Okay, I'm a little bit here. Black women. So black women, we're also realizing that we have to band and stick together. There's no more, oh, I'm competing against her. Oh, my wig is cuter than hers. My nails is cuter than her. My butt bigger than hers. My stomach flatter than hers. No. Black women are realizing we all we got. <coughs> we all we got, right? We all that we have. So we have to stick together, right? I got to be able to help you and support you. If you have a business, I'm going to tell other people. Right? If you, you know, are doing something or writing a book, I'm gonna tell other people, you need some encouragement, I'm gonna encourage you. 
you need some inspiration i'm gonna inspire you i, I don't have time to oh i'm gonna look at her and be jealous of her because we all got the same 24 hours right so it's like collaboration over competition like my video girl you guys see the intros and stuff and the and the um and the thumbnails i have a black girl that works for me that does this and she loves doing this shit. so why not pay somebody that loves doing this <laughs> and pay them to do what they love and i'm able to help her support her black family her black kids her black husband right so i'm really only interested in working with black women right whether you are a writer if you're a writer let me know if you are a writer okay i need someone to proofread sometimes my emails right so if you're a writer email me let me know what your skills are right let me know what your prices are if you're a virtual assistant right i'm looking for another virtual assistant if you have if you know how to run ads on instagram you know how to run ads on facebook or youtube i'm looking for a black woman that knows how to do this stuff and i'm willing to pay you i am gonna pay you right so black women we got to stand together building wealth takes away a lot of anxiety starting your own business allows you to be your own boss and you're not dependent upon other motherfuckers right having your own money allows you to walk confidently in the streets it allows you to confidently post on social media when you got your own bag right because if you depend on a spouse right now don't get me wrong i love my husband he's a good guy you know he's there for me i've been with the man damn near <laughs> been with him almost 19 years we've been married 11 we just celebrated 11 years right but at the end of the day too i gotta have my own bag yes my husband can give me money yes my husband we help you know pay bills together but guess what baby i gotta have my own bag i gotta be able to control my own right because the confidence comes out baby when you securing everything right if you're dependent upon your husband you ain't got that much confidence Right, because now it's like, damn, I gotta depend on my husband to get two dollars. I gotta depend on my husband to go get my nails done. So I gotta wait for my husband to come home so I can call him, or I gotta call him so he can put money on my car. No, boy, I'm gonna get my nails done. I'm out. <laughs> I wanna go on a trip. I'm out. I wanna go to the club. I'm out. <laughs> I wanna go to an event. I'm out. Right. So more and more black women are understanding that we are all we have i'm not looking at another woman and saying mm, her toes look better than mine oh her hair look better than mine no boo how can me and you collaborate just like i met my video girl right and i said boo listen how can we collaborate that's all i wanted to know how can we collaborate i'm not looking at your hair i'm not looking at you how can we collaborate so we can grow together right so she's helping me grow and build Right? In the meantime, I'm helping her grow and build what she's doing. Right? So life takes a turn, especially with this whole COVID thing going on. Now the whole Black Lives Matter and all this other stuff that's going on. At the end of the day, guys, at the end of the day, more and more Black women are writing books, starting businesses, becoming homeowners, getting lines of credit, fixing their credit, getting business accounts what we doing the damn thing and guess what i'm a part of that i'm a part of helping women do that i'm a part of it one of my teammates sent me a message today and said tanisha should i apply for the loan for the small business i said well you got to have an llc you got to have an s corp you got to have a c corp we just can't apply for it in your name go get you a s corp or a c corp it's time to boss up sis right I didn't get down on her and say, oh, you stupid. You should already have an LLC. You should have this shit already. No, boo. Go get it. Go to LegalZoom and get you an LLC or escort. Go set you up a business account, sis. Because now I feel like I can empower someone else. Guess what, guys? When you empower and you inspire other people, guess what happens? They remember you for the rest of their fucking life. They're not going to forget you. You're not going to be easily forgotten. <laughs> When you add value to someone's life, guess what? It's hard for them to forget you. Just like, you know, with trauma. <laughs> it's hard for people to forget trauma, right? So I'd rather be an inspiration in someone's life. And anyway, that's one of the principles that God <laughs> wants us to have, 
God said, be a vessel in someone else's life. Your life is supposed to inspire others. When I come up and I ride up in my bins and I go to some of my black women that are some of my clients and my customers or my teammates, they're inspired. Believe me. <laughs> they're inspired. When I'm pulling up in my driveway, <laughs> in my house, they're inspired. Right? When they see me get awards and they see me getting recognized, they're inspired. So my whole life is about inspiring more women. And now with this whole pandemic coming, with the, I mean, this whole pandemic here, and it's going to get worse, more people are going to be on, on unemployment. Guess what? More women will wake up because it's really up to us, right? The men don't have a backbone because they're scared, right? And if you're a woman and you have a man, uplift him. Don't tear him down because the job tearing him down. The streets is tearing him down. When he come home, treat him like a king. And this is for me too. I, I got to treat my husband like a king, right? I'm his queen. We're building an empire together. I shouldn't be, you know, tearing him down. The streets is tearing him down. Other places are already tearing. You don't want to come home and be tear down too, right? So we as black women got to stick together. If you guys are following me, share my videos out. Send it to 10 of your black women friends. Let them know, you know what, you know what, sis, it's our time. It's our time to build wealth, not just have a job. It's our time to win, not just have a job. It's our time to travel, not just have a job. It's our time to go new places, not just have a job. And not just having a job, having a side hustle too. One of my friends, she cooks all the goddamn time. She love cooking. She make money cooking. That's a side hustle where now you make the money. You could go invest that money. I got another friend. She's a nurse, but on the side, she does other jobs in her own business, nursing and taking care of people. And she loves that, right? So one income, ladies, is not enough. Two incomes is not enough. Three incomes is not enough. I got another friend, right? She rents her, 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 um, her basement out for like Airbnb. She rents her basement out for like parties. Or if you want to have like a business meeting there. Right, so that's additional income. Come on, man. It's time, ladies, that we win. Right, it's time. Right, see, growing up, I, it wasn't a lot of black women. I didn't see a lot of black women doing shit. Now, in the 20th century, 21st century, guess what? There's a lot of more black women doing more. Right, because we know it's up to us now. We can't depend on the system any longer. We can no longer depend on a spouse any longer. We can no longer depend on a job any longer. It's really up to us. Find a problem, right? Find a problem because there's millions and billions of problems in the world and they create a solution. The problem that I am creating a solution for is that too many people don't know anything about wealth. Too many women don't know nothing about wealth. Too many women don't have, you know, or, or which way they need to go with business ideas. They have no clue. Right? So now I decided to put myself out there so that other women can say, you know what, Tanisha's it. A girl told me the other day, she said, on my, on my, um, on my YouTube, so many social medias, I forget. <laughs> on my YouTube, she said, I typed in Amazon black seller and I was the first video that popped up. And she was another black woman. So do you know how inspired she was? And I don't even know her from a can of paint. She don't know me from a can of paint, but I know she was looking for something. All right, so this is what this is about, guys. Solving people's problems. People got plenty problems, plenty. But what solution are you creating for them? Or are you a part of the problem too? <laughs> Go to blackwealth101.net. Right now I got about 30 students in there. 99.9% of them are black women. I got one white girl in there. Um, and I have two men, no three men actually, um, you know, in there and they're black. And I'm teaching them how to make money in their business and go invest it into new things that can make you money because your money is supposed to work overtime for you. Money is supposed to work triple time for you. You don't supposed to work two and three jobs. You don't supposed to work 
overtime every day. Even my husband I had to get him out of that working overtime shit. Like, baby, stop it. You're only killing yourself working overtime. Oh, I got to make more money. You're not really making more money when you work overtime. I'm sorry to tell you. All you're doing is now giving the government more money. That's all you're doing. So it's time to make your next move your best move. It's time to make your next move your best move. You need a coach. You need a mentor, right? You have to invest in books, coaches, seminars, audio books. You have to invest. Ladies, right? You are the best person to invest in. You're the most valuable person in your life. Oh, shit. I didn't even know this girl number. <laughs> this one of my students texting me. Right? So at the end of the day, a black girl. <laughs> so at the end of the day, ladies, you are the best person to invest in. You are the best person to invest money, time, and energy in so you can be better. So that you can level up. So you can attract better. Right? You can't say, oh, I want a man making six figures, driving the Benz, got his own house, but you want Section 8. You want food stamps. You want Medicaid. And you waiting for the government to send you your unemployment check. Don't no man making six figures, driving the Benz, and living by himself want no woman on welfare. And that's the truth. <laughs> so if you want better, you have to do better. If you want better, you got to level up. If you want better, <laughs> get better so you can attract better. It's really that simple, ladies. Go to blackwealth101.net. Start learning how to get better. Follow me on Instagram, guys. See you soon.